Today we're gonna have some fun with paper mache. Paper mache is awesome. I think paper mache is a much overlooked recipe for building so many, many things. And today I will be showing you how you can make your own mask face. I am going to be making an animal mask. I think I'm gonna go for some sort of rabbit jackalope kind of creature. All I know is that I want it to be freaky and it's gonna be fantastic. All you will need is the flour, the water, the balloon, your paper, and a dream. I think that's about it. So, <laughs> you may not have used paper mache since you were a kid, so let me give you a little refresher. Find your scraps of paper and tear them all up, and then grab a big bowl and let's make some mache. So I use about half water, half flour, but I'm just trying to get like a, it's thick, but it's also quite runny kind of paste. So once I dip the pieces of paper in, they're just coated nicely and will go onto the balloon. You know, I am actually terrified of balloons bursting. Whenever I work with paper mache that has a balloon base, I am just in constant anxiety. I stand as far away as I can from it and try and put the pieces on as gently as I can so as not to burst that balloon. And the way I pop it afterwards once it's all dry is I just cut a little bit near the top and let the air out slowly rather than bang and it's there. But I'm sure you don't have that problem. So go ahead and burst that freaking balloon for me once, <laughs> once your layers of paper mache have dried. Now you may be wondering why I've got the smaller balloon. I'm actually using the smaller balloon to mold a bit of a snout for the animal that I am going to be making. So I am just tracing out the snout shape that I want and then cutting that out and attaching it to the larger piece just with hot glue. So I can also from this point start to add ears and even paper mache up those if I want some extra support. I'm going to be covering these and the cardboard is pretty thick so I'm only using a thin layer of mache there. Then I'm going to mark out the eyes and very carefully cut out within the shapes that I want. So that pretty much brings us up to the decorating point. I have got this fabulous fur that I am going to use to decorate my mask. You can use whatever you want to decorate these masks. You can then paint them, you could cover them like I'm doing, you can cover them in different kind of fabrics, anything you want. And on these sides, I'm going to add just an elastic band to tie around the back of my head. You can do other methods with this, but this is just a really quick way to show you that if you've only got five minutes, you can make a fastening 
with just hot glue gun and elastic and then tie it together around the back of your head. If you've used colored paper or you can see some designs coming through the other side, just paint it one color, maybe black or white or whatever matches your design. Speaking of rhinestones, it wouldn't be one of my creations without some, so I'm just gonna add just a few, just some, just some. And there you have it. So, other than the drying time, it's a pretty quick project and it's super fun. You can make a bit of mess and end up with something really cool at the end. So now I'm going to go stand out in the garden and be a creep. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I know a few of you saw this post, so I will say it here as well. We are nearly at my first 100 subscribers, so thank you so much, everyone, and hi. I will be doing another giveaway once we get to 100 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, send me a comment. I try and respond to every single one. Once again, I have been Lady Heart and you have been an audience. See you next week.